very excitingly, the angels are up. Apparently it's their biggest Christmas installation they've done to date. Percy Pig, everything. This is incredible. This is for you. That's very kind. She's like, thanks, Dad. <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking alone with my friend as I do this time of the year. Hello everybody, how are we all? I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to my channel and quite a festive video I have for you. Um, when I'm filming this, it's currently early November. So I'm just off in Piccadilly. It might be a little bit loud, so hope you can hear me. But I've got quite a festive day today. I have a press day to look at Marks and Spencer's newest like Christmas things. So we've got clothing, food, homeware. So I thought what I'd do is do like a little tour of London um, and look in all of the shops for Christmas. So I'm currently stood next to Fortnum and Mason. They've just changed their Christmas windows you can see behind me so I'm very excited about that so I'm gonna have a look and then I'm also gonna look in anthropology H&M home John Lewis and then obviously take you to the M&S Press it's gonna be a lot of Christmas and a lot of like London festivities and um, so like I say I'm filming this early November but obviously Christmas comes around fast so I thought this would be nice to film so we're outside Fort Nova Mason so let's take a look at the window display I know a lot of you do comment um, saying that you're gonna to come to London and potentially might be coming this year with the restrictions easing so this is Fortnum and Mason, it was established in 1707 and it's just off of Piccadilly and they've changed up their window displays. Look how amazing this looks, they've got all of the hampers, they're famous for their hampers um, but their displays are just absolutely magic. I mean what an absolutely amazing installation. I'm not sure what time Fortnum and Mason opens actually, I think it might be 10am but look how cool this looks. Oh I don't think it's open just yet so I might have to come back but look how gorgeous it's just amazing it reminds me a lot of the windows in um Phoenix in Newcastle which is where I grew up they used to do window displays like this but look how cool got the little cheese and wine wow often the best way to look at Fortnum and Mason is from the other side of the road each year they put window displays in each of the windows as a countdown to advent how amazing is that? I will definitely come back and having a look inside, but we're not going to continue down Piccadilly towards Regent Street now. Listens and everything's bright. Everyone's happy. Spirits are light. I am sitting here thinking alone with my dream. And very excitingly, the angels are up in Regent Street which means the countdown to Christmas is on oh my goodness I'm so excited when these light up it is a thing of sheer joy so I completely forgot that stores don't open on Regent Street until 11 a.m. <laughs> so that's completely my bad so what I'm gonna do is walk to John Lewis because that Christmas floor has opened and I know because I used to work on Oxford Street that stores open from 9 on sometimes 8 so yeah I'm gonna walk to John Lewis and show you around there and then I'm going to grab some breakfast because I'm quite hungry. <laughs> um, I've been invited to one of my favourite places called Eggsla, which is delicious. Actually, World Sandwich Day when I'm filming this. So I'm going to have like an egg sandwich, which is just the other end of Oxford Street. And then I'm going to walk back and take a look at all the shops that I wanted to look in when they finally open. <laughs> Gosh, I've lived in London over five years and I'm still, still learning. As I do this time of the year. Inside John Lewis, we're on the third floor, which is the Christmas floor, and it is ginormous. Apparently, it's their biggest Christmas installation they've done to date. So, I'm gonna have an explore and show you guys around. They have some Christmas food gifting, which all looks gorgeous. <gasps> Look at this panettone, Christmas panettone. Oh, this is a whole Italian section. Wow, they've got some marzipans. Oh, they're Belgian. Maybe it's like European. Remember when love was around. When we were this is definitely worth a visit if you're a fan of Quality Street you can sign your own tin and fill it with whatever you'd like Right, let's enter the Christmas Grotto. Here we go the, glow, the talk of the town When I'm sitting here drinking I can't help but think about Look at this Christmas display. How beautiful is this? I love this like and like an antler tree style candelabra, it's lovely. About us as I do 
this time of the year. Those of you may remember we did a version of this last year, but we did it ourselves. This is much nicer, <laughs> but it's uh, 25 pounds. So yeah, you can definitely DIY yourself one of those. Let me know in the comments if you're a fan of tinsel. I think used correctly, it can look quite effective. It can easily go one or the other way, but this looks quite nice tinsel to be fair. This is quite impressive. That's a Moet champagne cracker on a Christmas tree. Champagne themed Christmas tree, wow. That's quite impressive, isn't it? Gosh, it's gorgeous. getting a lot of inspiration for table decor this year. This one has so many patterns and really vibrant colours on it. I think it looks gorgeous. I've got really lovely large glass um, baubles which I think are perfect if you want to do like a luxe tree and then fill them out with slightly smaller ones. Like these ones down here, this is what we do and it just really fills the tree out. These four red berries are really nice to spike into a tree as well. They're quite effective. They look quite real too. Didn't get a damaged one. Do excuse this bauble. This one's coming on with me. <laughs> Remember me being with you. Was that just They've got a lovely selection of stockings as well. All different textures and patterns. They've got like cream and neutral ones. And then some lovely red and hessian ones there. They look fab. Right, I'm going to check out with my purchase. I'm not going to show you them because I'll show you them when I'm back. And then let's head on to the next stop. That never came true. I am sitting here sinking drink after drink as I do. So I'm inside Exeter and I'm just ordering myself a coffee or something for a latte. Um, and I've ordered like a mushroom and portobello bun. And it's got truffle and ketchup in it. And it's just what I need this morning. It's quite cold outside, so I'm going to enjoy that. And then we're going to hit the shops up. I'll leave this link down below. I've been so many times and it's absolutely delicious. It's so good. Time of the year. My stupid heart. So easy. So I just came into Next to see their Christmas things. They haven't got a massive selection, but I thought I'd show you them anyway. I feel like Next do Christmas really well. I thought I was trying to forget you I must have forgotten I am lost in I'm now going to take a look in H&M Home They should have some lovely Christmas bits in I haven't been in a while so let's take a look Memories pouring the hours away Hey, do you remember? The last place I'm going to have a look in is Anthropology because their Christmas stuff is always lovely and they have a sale on which is dangerous. <laughs> Let's go on in. Zara did say if I popped into Anthropology, I needed to try and find a decoration with the M on for Maggie for her first Christmas. So let's have a look. Oh, they have one too. Oh, it kind of looks like a paw print too with the five little things on. That's really cute. I think I might have to get that for her.
so I just hopped off the tube at Waterloo and um, I need to try and find where the event is. I think it's here. Oh, I've actually just arrived. Yes, it's with M&S, as I said. So it's M&S food, uh, clothing to men's or women's wear and horn. So that'll be very exciting. And um, yeah, who doesn't love a bit of Christmas? So we're going to head on in now. Just taking a look through some of the menswear pieces. Obviously, we love these tones. This is something I am absolutely here for. Getting into the colder weather too. It's gorgeous. I just saw this um, dog tooth style um, shaka. It's lovely. Love the autograph range. It's really, really nice. That is very lovely. Okay, we've had a look at the clothes. We've got some lovely decor bits as well. So we're at the top floor. And we're going to work our way down. Home. It was on Grand Designs and it's called the Violin Factory. So, as you can see, it's like a huge home. So, we're gonna work. They actually have a, like a dumb waiter, which is very fancy. So, we're at the top floor and um, just head over to the lovely PRs at Marks and Spencer's. So, we're gonna go down more towards um, Percy's Grotto, apparently. Let's have a little wander down. I feel like we have to have a look in here. Oh my gosh, this is Percy Pig, of course. So this, if you aren't aware, is probably M&S's biggest thing. They do Percy Pig everything. This is incredible. They're now doing Percy Pig loungewear. Oh my goodness, Percy Pig popcorn. Is this Percy Pig popcorn? Stop it. It is Percy Pig chopcorn. Wow. I mean, that's mega. They've really gone to town in the decorations in here. It looks amazing. Look at these. So the lightning saw pink. They actually do vegan Percy pigs as well, so they don't have any gelatin in. So any veggies or vegans out there, you can now have Percy pigs. And if you haven't had them, we thoroughly recommend trying them because they're delightful. Right, I'm gonna get out of this room because it's very pink. It's cool, but it's very pink. It smells absolutely gorgeous, and you're not gonna be able to film much because they've got a bit of um, Christmas music playing, and I don't want it to, you know, get copy written. But it smells like the M&S. Um, clove scent. I'm not sure where it is, but we have it at home and it smells gorgeous. I've looked at some of these online as well, the M&S Christmas hampers. They're kind of like trying to rival Fortnum's and they're really good value and you can get a lot in them. So um, yeah, definitely check those out. That's quite cool. That's an M&S gin and tonic toy for dogs. That's cute. Oh, this is a whole dog section. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's cool. I'm not gonna lie, this is making me very festive guys. It really is. I think this is the M&S Christmas advert as well. I've been told not to share this, but I think it's going to go live after this vlog goes up. So, yeah, it looks amazing. Gym is absolutely delicious. I think it's the, it's the light of snow globes, you can actually light them up from the bottom. Um, they were really popular last year. They're only like a liqueur. I think they're 25 pounds. Um, they make a great gift. And they do it in the larger one as well, so you can get the larger or the smaller one. They look so nice. And then light up luxury tea house. That's really nice. From in town and I thought I'd show you just a few bits and bobs that I got I actually didn't get a lot at all in all honesty just because we really don't need much Christmas decor at all um, oh hello <laughs> I don't know if you can tell but this little one is very excited about her first Christmas she's awfully inquisitive this is wrapping paper which I'm sure you will absolutely love on Terran on December 25th. You've got a present in here, actually. So as I showed you, I went to John Lewis Anthropology and H&M Home, and I was really impressed. Genuinely some lovely, lovely Christmas decor. Things that we've seen in previous years, but some new stuff. Um, so I thought I'd show you everything. Let's start with John Lewis. Um, so the baubles on John Lewis are gorgeous. Every year they absolutely smash it out of the park, and I just think they are 
very, very good at creating some gorgeous luxury. I would say luxury, they are slightly more premium in price, however you do pay for the quality. This first one I got. We don't really have a theme with our tree at all each year. <laughs> each year it completely changes. Um, it doesn't really change, it just stays the same, we just add to it. However, we are getting to a point where we have that many Christmas decorations that we can't put them all on the tree at once. Ah, okay, you're gonna take that. Okay, drop. She has a thing for paper. Um, so this is the first one that I picked up. <laughs> what do you think of that, Maggie? Do you like it? <laughs> this was eight pounds, and it's this um, gold, slightly glittery um, leaf design, which I just thought was absolutely gorgeous. Completely made of glass, it has the ribbon on top. And yeah, for eight pounds, I just really didn't think that was bad going at all. And I just liked the way that it caught the light when it was lit from behind. I love glass baubles. I think they just have a certain um, loveliness about them. And this just felt really lovely quality for eight pounds. I think that is gorgeous. That was the first one. We are gonna be very careful with having a dog this year. Christmas tree will obviously go behind us where it usually goes. So we need to make sure all of our lovely glass baubles are at a height because I don't doubt that she won't try and grab them. Do you know as well, the service in John Lewis, I've never been in John Lewis and had bad service. They're just, the staff are brilliant. This next one is lovely again, completely shows that we don't have a theme. I just absolutely loved this. So this is a amber and gold bauble. Again, gorgeous with the just bits of glitter on there. I just think that is, look how that's, oh my God, wow. Is that reflecting in the light? Is that reflecting on me? Oh, I think that's just reflecting in the glass of my camera, which is very, very lovely because I think, let me hold up this tea light behind it. Do you see how that's just, oh, wow. Yeah, looks lovely. Eight pounds, again, so not the cheapest, but real glass, I just think, those two together, I had them like held together in the shop and I just, <laughs> sorry, excuse Maggie. I just think they were lovely. So yeah, those were the two main baubles that I got. As I say, we don't need any more. It's just nice to add to it year in, year out. Now this one is actually quite sentimental because um, obviously me and Zara have lived in London for over five years now. This is gonna be our fifth Christmas in London, which is crazy. And I really wanted something to almost remember our last Christmas in this flat, hopefully. Well, not that we are on a strict countdown, but obviously we are moving next year. Fingers crossed, we'll be moved by Christmas next year. So this will be our last Christmas in this flat, which is mad. Maggie, I wanted to get something that would commemorate our last Christmas in this flat because it'll be our third Christmas. So, obviously we live in London, so I got this red telephone box, which I just absolutely love. This was five pounds. And um, yeah, it's just a nice nod to our Christmas in London. And I just, I love it. We probably won't put this on the main tree. We have a second hallway tree, which we call our tacky tree. <laughs> it's not tacky at all. It's just very loud. And we're just gonna put everything on there. Um, this one's slightly more nicely decorated. However, the one in the hallway is just anything goes. So I thought that was lovely. Obviously, John Lewis on Oxford Street is very um, busy and big. It's the flagship. A lot of tourists go there, so they had a lot of London decor. So if you are visiting, don't buy your Christmas decor in the expensive shops like Harrods and whatnot. Get it in John Lewis. So that was everything that I got in John Lewis. Now, this one I picked up in Anthropology. Maggie, this is for you. Maggie, what's this? Maggie, this is for you. <laughs> well, it's not for you, but it's it's... Kind of for you. <laughs> She's like, really, Dad? Really? <laughs> Maggie, sit down. So this is to, um, well, because it's Maggie's first Christmas with us, we wanted to get something to kind of bring those lovely memories every single year when we decorate our trees. So we got a little M, which is like knitted, embroidered on this. This was an anthropology. It was eight pounds. Um, so again, not the cheapest. However, it's nice because it has a gap on the bottom, so this could actually be a little tree topper. But I think we are going to hang it as a decoration, and I think... You think it's a toy, don't you? It's just going to be nice that it's going to be Maggie's first Christmas with us, so we wanted to get something to memory. It says, M for Maggie! That's very kind. She's like, thanks, Dad! <laughs> oh, bless you. And then the last place I went to was H&M Home, and... <laughs> Um, they had some gorgeous wrapping paper in H&M Home in lots of different colours and um, textures. I saw this online and I thought I'd pick some up before it sells out. So this is five metres of 27 and a half inches of um, wrapping paper. 
I'm not sure what the actual texture is, but I know HM Mountain Paper is usually recyclable. Yeah, it's paper, it's not foiled, so you can recycle this. And I just love it, I think it's really nice. Again, slightly traditional, it's like an off-white colour. And I just thought that was really, really nice. I was going to grab some more, but I didn't fancy carrying it around town when I went to the press day. So next time I'm in, I'm going to grab some green as well, and I think that will look really nice. And oh, it looks so cosy and traditional in here, so um, yeah, love that. Sticking with the theme of wrapping, I also got some um, ribbon. <laughs> Again, Maggie's interested. This is just some lovely green ribbon. This was £2.99 for five metres. Um, I forgot to say, uh, this was £2.99 as well. Yeah, this for five metres is lovely, and of course with this ribbon, you can reuse it year in, year out, so that was really nice. I also picked up some of this, I think it's called Natural Raffia. Um, yes, it's 40 metres. This was uh, £1.99. And again, just really nice. <laughs> you think this is for you? A really nice, lovely texture uh, for more like natural presents. You could do like brown paper with some Hessian, like Raffia style ribbon. So I really like that. And I also had the app which gave me uh, three pounds off. So the total for all of this, including some candles, which I'm about to show you, was seven pounds, which is really good. So I picked up some of these tapered um, dinner candles. I am gonna do a tablescape video this year, so keep an eye out for that. Yeah, these are in like an off-white, gray color. Um, a pack of two was 1.99 again. So I thought they'd be really nice. The theme we're gonna go for this year is nice warm reds and a natural fibre, so like hessian and twine. So I thought these would contrast really nicely. So yeah, that was the last thing I got. So that's everything I picked up. Not a lot by any means, but it was really nice to get in somewhat of the festive spirit and get a head start on the Christmas decor because gosh, we'll be picking our tree up in no time at all, which is so exciting. I, like, I literally cannot wait. And I just think it's lovely to have some new additions every year. So yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this little festive look around town. If you have, as always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. There'll be so many Christmas videos coming in December. I am both excited and scared at the workload, <laughs> but of course we're going to have fun along the way. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. As always, if you have enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe if you haven't already. Lots of love to you all. Stay safe and I'll catch you all very soon. Bye for now.